Liam, another point on the road, but a clean sheet this time. Uh, how important was that to just shut them out today as well? Yeah, the clean sheet was really big. Um, had a couple of dodgy nights sleep after Wednesday. It was tough to take. We was poor. Uh, I was poor. Um, and I'm a defender, so I wanted to defend. Uh, we went to a back four, which I really relished. And um, yeah, clean sheet's good. Obviously, we want to win the game, but as a defender, you'll take a clean sheet all day. And you still got a point on Wednesday night as well, but um, how much do you think the team needs to respond after what you just described on Wednesday night, I guess? Yeah, um, it was terrible Wednesday. We was really bad. We, we wasn't happy at all, uh, um, which didn't uh, reflect on what we've been doing in training and how we've been working. You know, the manager's fantastic, Eddie is as well, and, and John. We work hard in training, uh, we're set up right, and then when you turn in a performance like that, um, it's really disappointing. But we, uh, we stayed down after the game. Uh, we've been at St George's a couple of days and had a bit of time to chat amongst ourselves, uh, sort things out. And the reaction was good. Obviously, we wanted to win the game, but clean sheet away at Stoke, you'll, you'll take that. And on the game as well, do you think the draw was the fair result in the end? Yeah, probably, yeah. There wasn't too many clear-cut chances. Uh, first off, we had a lot of possession. Uh, we got it into midfield well, which we wanted to do. Felt like we could have speeded up a little bit in them areas uh, and got in behind them. But... I can't remember Rafa making any big saves. I think they had a couple of chances where they didn't hit the target, but overall, probably a fair result. And on um, on Stoke as well, you moved to back four today with Matt Miaska's knee injury. Do you feel that that suited the team today? Um, look, whatever gets us results, you'll always look back and say, yeah, that was right. Um, so we did a free for a little bit. Uh, we got a lot of uh, success with that, so that was great. Um, we went to four today. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. It was good. I felt like I was in my... Um, my favourite slot that I've played pretty much all my Reading career uh, and we kept a clean sheet so credit to the manager on that one, yeah, we, we went to a four and kept a clean sheet. And moving on now as well, uh, going back to Reading, I'm sure you're looking forward to actually getting back uh, back, <laughs> back to Reading just to train for Derby now. Yeah, um, it would be nice to get home today to see the family, we've been away a few days and then we'll get back to it next week. Um, like I say, credit to the, the management staff, we always prepare uh, very well. So training will be good next week. Um, it's a pleasure to come in and work with the boys. And then, yeah, big game next weekend. And now the festive period really starts, doesn't it? As a player, how much do you look forward to this time of year? Yeah, it's tough physically and mentally. <clears throat> a few of the lads that haven't witnessed it will have a shock to their system. Obviously, you know, Matt picked up a little injury. Um, and I think this might be his first, well, it is his first season in the championship. Well, he came in January last year, so... For some of the lads, it's going to be really testing uh, because they come at you thick and fast. It's literally uh, play, recover. There's not much training in there, but for me, I love it. I'm a game player. Um, that's what I enjoy the most, so bring it on, yeah. And I know there are still a couple of games until the halfway point of the season for the club anyway, but if you were to offer some sort of half-term report, like how would you reflect on the season so far? All right. Personally, uh, it's been a bit stop-start. Um, start the season on the right side of centre-half. Um, made a conversation about that actually at the start of the season. Ideally, we would have swapped it round, but um, the manager at the time liked what he's seen in pre-season. And then we moved to a back three. I played on the right, I played on the left. Um, I've been a bit of everywhere. So I've not really got into my stride, which has been frustrating because I had a great pre-season. Uh, I feel like I'm hitting the levels I want to in training every day. I'm working really hard. Um, so it has been frustrating. And that probably mirrors it as a team. Uh, we haven't got going properly. Um, We've won a couple of games, you think we're on the up, and then we have a dodgy performance or dodgy result. So it's frustrating, but what I've got to say is I really do, and I mean it when I say we're heading in the right direction with what we're doing day to day. Uh, the manager's great, he, he just gets it, he understands um, the game, he understands the championship. Um, we're trying to do the right things. Um, at the minute, we're probably doing one thing right and then not the other, and then it seems to reverse. But what we need to do is try and get it all, all going well. You know, We need to get our quality players on the ball get them on a half turn and playing forward and we need to show the fighting spirit that um, started us getting some results uh, when the manager first come in, mix them together will be a good side.